Today we are going to learn how to insert images into our content area for decorative purposes or perhaps to get a uh, more interesting navigation system going, associate images with links, etc. What I've already done is I have downloaded a couple of different images um, from the internet already. Some of these are quite large and I don't want those large large images going out to the internet so we're going to take a quick look at how to compress those types of things as well. I'm going to go ahead and click into the area where I would like to insert my image and I'm going to click right here in front of my main content. Now it is very important to understand that when we're inserting images this is where we start to see huge differences between desktop publishing or word processing and web, de web design. We often get the illusion that this is very much like a word processing area. We're typing text and it looks like any kind of word document that we might be using. But in truth, HTML is very, very particular about what it does and what it can't do. In this particular case, in terms of images, Images really in their most basic stand, uh, standing only have the ability to align with the text or be independent and then they really only have the ability to go to the left or the right of the text. Now there are ways that we can also um, put them in little containers called divs and we can manipulate them in a different way. But for our most native and basic viewpoint there's not much we can do with them. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert an image and here is the image I'm going to play with. I can readily see that it is a thousand pixels wide by 750 tall. It is quite a large image for what I want to do here but that's okay for the moment because I can resize it. I'm going to click on OK. I do need to add an alternate text and during class time we will be discussing why we would want to add that alternate text. Suffice to say we do need to add it here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that up by clicking OK. And here is that very large image. Now I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it down by clicking and dragging so that it is now a reasonable size in relation to the rest of my page. This is the basic insertion of an image. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and I'm going to go ahead and take a quick look at its preview. And here it is in a preview mode. Now notice that the image is sitting right here. It doesn't look quite the way I would want it to look. It doesn't really do any kind of word wrapping and it doesn't really belong where it is. The thing to know at this point is that in many ways we can think of creating a web page in Dreamweaver similar to doing a Word document or any other kind of desktop publishing piece but once we start playing with images we start to see that it truly is not like word processing. There are some very specific rules that govern things like images and placement of text and things like that. And we do need to understand those in order to manipulate them to better get a, a, a decent placement for this image. The first thing I can do without really doing anything at all to the image, these are built in um, standard types of things that we can do. First of all, it's sitting right next to a text content, so it's actually kind of anchored in there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, if I click on the image itself, I can come down to my property inspector and I can choose to do text top, which does something weird. It doesn't truly wrap the image the way I want it. I'm going to go ahead and back out of that uh, by doing the undo so that I don't get confused with what I'm doing here. Um, bottom would only align this image with the bottom of this particular line here, which is indeed what it is. So that's nothing different than the default. If I tried to do the middle, that would be fine, but it would only align to the middle of this particular first line. Keep in mind that this whole chunk of information 
is one paragraph according to our HTML code. So when we align this to the middle, it's going to align to the middle of this first line. It cannot word wrap the way we would expect it to word wrap at this point. The other thing we can do is we can do basically a left or a right. Currently it's already in the left hand position, but if I click on my right, it does look more like a right alignment with some word wrap. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that over here in my preview and take a look here. And that's a real, real basic way to insert an image. However, that's really not the way I'd like to do it because I know that we can do some other things. The first thing to note here is that in our design area over in our CSS styles, we have a couple of rules that are already created. Notice that I've got this image left rule and this image right rule. What this is doing for us is these are preset rules and of course I don't have to stay with these. I can modify them or I can even add new ones, etc. But since we've got them, let's take advantage of them. Notice that the properties, for example, of this image right piece is that it's going to float to the right, much like what we just did, but this time it's going to have a margin of 20 pixels, which is going to give us a um, a margin on the left hand side of that image to kind of buffer it from the other space. If we take a look here, this is the original piece right here and notice how the text runs right up against the image. Don't like that. So we know that this is a an existing rule over here and we know we want to apply it to this particular image so we're going to come back down to our property inspector and this time I'm going to click on class and notice that I've got those listed here image right and image left I'm going to click on image right and now because it's got that 20 pixel left hand side piece it's forcing the text to wrap in a much more appropriate way so if I go ahead and preview that one time here. Let me take a look over here. This is what it looks like in the preview with that class applied. This is what it looks like in the preview with just simply aligning it to the right. So the point here being is that we can insert the image and we can certainly play with its alignment left and right. Those are really our only choices here, but you're far better off using a class and of course to apply that class you'd click on it and you would come down to your property inspector and choose the appropriate class and then you can start manipulating the buffer zone around the image which is really what you would want to do that's it for creating and I'm sorry inserting a very simple image